YouTube today, we spectate some just crazy shit. All right, look. All right, here we are, guys. Starting off with Nola, gang, gang, gang. That's that's fam right there. So I gotta I gotta go easy on him. He comes from my neck of the woods. But here we are, spectating Herb Martian, and uh, we're doing a little bit of loot. Now look, we have a UAV right now. So the first tip I want to touch on is looting too much. We have a great SMG. We have two great SMGs, and honestly, I would rather the other two than the Sten. But here we are with tip number one, guys, over excessive looting. Don't do it. We had a UAV up, we've now wasted. We know there are enemies near us and we're not allowing ourselves to push them with the intel that we were given. Now, why is this important? Well, now that we're pushing, we know they're there, but we just don't know exactly where. So what's that gonna do? That's gonna do one of two things. One, we're instantly gonna get clapped from 19 different directions. Or two, we're gonna play it really, really slow and passive and get clapped from 19 different directions. So again, if there's a UAV in the air, stop what you're doing, utilize it to your advantage because you're missing out on the easiest kills of your life. It's way easier to kill an enemy with a UAV in the air than it is with not, when there's not one. Am I, am I wrong? No, I'm not. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. It's in number two, observation. We've got footsteps in the church next to us. He has no idea. Again, we had blips on the mini map from enemies that were over here. He has no idea. And look, another UAV up, and still here we are. Granted, Savage, you got the loadout. out. I get that. But again, our, our teammates got 16 grand too. We got lots of loadouts. I want to see you guys getting kills. Loadout's definitely important, but we got some really good weapons we can utilize to go out there and get some, get some kills, man. And look, we already picked up the same fucking gun. Who would have thought? Now again, we have a UAV in the air. And I'm going to stop touch talking about it, all right? I'm going to stop. Let's see how he fights, if he decides to fight today. All right, here we are in our first fight. We've got two cracked. All right, so look, we had two enemies cracked. We knew there were multiple enemies here. You don't have to commit to the death. You can play. So the fact that you cracked two of them means they're instantly going to be like, oh shit, we might not push. Now they killed you, but all you got to do is break away and reposition and come around and take advantage of them because the first enemy to plate is probably going to push you. And instead of them being on top of each other, they might stagger. And it's way easier to knock out a team if they're staggered away from each other. That's unfortunate. I thought I got stuck. So tip number three, guys, play your lives efficiently. Start thinking about how to outplay enemies. Stop planting your feet and just spraying and playing. Or you know what? Or spraying and praying. But you know what? Even that, even if you don't want to reposition, run around the building and all this other crazy shit, we had a beam right there. We could have used this cover, right? So I had to do a side step behind it, play both sides, make the enemies work for their kill. We're gonna move on. Let's go see what Pinhead's up to, man. He's over here getting kills. And again, this is a bad habit. You see, he literally did it, he died, and here he is doing it again. This is it's a terrible thing to waste, man. Skill's a terrible thing to waste. All right, but we got we got a little bit of movement from your boy. I'm slide cancel ADSing, man. Falling in the same mistakes. We've got enemies above us. I'd like to see him get a get in a fight. This is very unfortunate. Over here. You get that? I don't know why it's taking so long today to switch between players. We might be spectating the wrong squad. Oh my gosh. We've got enemies literally next to us being shot at. We have an enemy to just kill our teammate. And here we are. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. Tip number four, teamwork. You don't have to ride each other. You don't have to hold hands. In fact, I'm completely against that, especially in resurgence. Did you, did you not? He didn't, he didn't see the guy up there. He still did look at, look at that. What are you doing? Teamwork guys, look. You don't have to ride to those pockets, but be in a close enough range, especially if your skill level dictates they're not good enough to run off by yourself. You can try to test the waters, but make sure you're close enough to your team to where if you get shot at, they can help. And also, if you're the team that your teammate's running from, make sure you're close enough to help him. Or the moment he gets in a fight, y'all start diverting, especially for not doing shit. A lone mosquito, I mean, you're living up to your name, you're by yourself, but like, you just, you love water. So honestly, he's living up to his name. I can't handle him at all. He's got to be an AI. And it, still we're witnessing looting. Guys, I, I'm going to lose my mind. I'm going to lose it. Savage, I really want to get better at the game. Do you? Do you really? 
Let's think, do you want to you get better or no? I promise you when you get better, you'll have a lot more fun with the game. I, and, and the, you're from NOLA, man. Come on. We've got UAVs. We've now had four, maybe five UAVs. We have not got a seal kill from yet. Oh, they threw it out a jammer. He got the kill. Very lucky, but he's about to die and lose out on that kill. Guys, tip number five. Don't walk around with your streaks in your hand. He's sitting here just holding it, trying to launch on the enemy. That was the easiest kill of his life. All he had to do was down him right in front of the boxes, get the cleanup. He could reposition, fight the second guy, whatever it was, but he decided other things and that just wasn't the way to do it. And you know, I, you would feel like that's not, that shouldn't be a tip, but I spectate shit like that all the time, especially in Caldera, it's so bad. All right, tip number six, guys. It's going to be a simple one. Just play the game, man. Please, just play the game. Remember, you know, a lot of people's biggest argument when I make these videos is, Savage, let them play how they want to play. They just want to have fun. Do you think he's having a time of his life right now? No, he's not. Absolutely not. If you spend less time looting, less time camping in corners like he was doing just now, more time paying attention to the audio around you and the visuals around you, you will have a lot more fun in this game. So guys, again, tip number six, just play the game. And you see how habitual this is, don't you guys? You see how habitual these mistakes are. And the reason why I thought this video is important. You know, normally we spectate, we commentate, it's all laughs, ha ha, but I really just want to start emphasizing different things I see on a weekly basis. I think once a week we'll come out with like important tips or like top loadouts and things like that I think you guys could benefit from, as well as the spectating and just laughing. Break out of there. Whoa. <laughs> Guys, tip number seven, focus up. Focus up. You knew there was a guy up top. He shot at you. You started to break away. You got distracted by what? Loot. Now, it doesn't, that didn't come with over excessive loot, and it should, but you got distracted by it, guys. Focus up. Just keep, keep, keep your eye on the prize, man. Play for the win. What are you doing out here? Besides breaking my heart. Look at the scar build, though. Enemy. And I want you to look at this, too. Look at how their teammates are all down, and their team's not even trying to go for the reses. No one's going for the executes. They're playing the fight. They're playing the fight. What did our team do? While his friend was getting killed behind us we're meleeing the guy we just down with a scar now what's more important getting that kill on the down you got or possibly finishing off his teammates and getting a double kill or maybe even a triple kill i'm gonna tell you one thing right now guys i'd much rather have the chance to get a 1v3 than die for a 1v1 if that meant whoa yeah yeah you don't, don't try that one brother you're you're a psychopath All right, guys, tip number nine I'm gonna go ahead and talk about right. All right, guys, tip number eight I'm gonna go ahead and talk about right now. The right guns for the right fight. We don't have a single close range weapon. We have a sniper. We have a long range build on a Graw. Kind of. Now the Graw could definitely be used for close range, but this compared to the hip fire PPSH, you will fucking die. You will die. So make sure guys, if you wanna run AR and sniper, I do that shit all the time in Caldera, I'm fine with it. As long as you know you're a long range player, Try to avoid close range fights. But this right here, we're, 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 li we're living on the edge. I honestly, I'd have, I'd probably play that rooftop a little bit more than he did. Top 
He really should have. Instead of just full sending on the other side of the circle, he really should have played the buildings. If he was the balloon dude, he honestly should have ballooned atop these rooftops because you know damn well the circle's not going to favor you if you come over here. We just committed to it. We full committed to this for no reason. But it's a 1v1 and this dude might actually win. No shot. Now look, Moot Moot's got him cracked. This is the moment we go into position to gatekeep him. The enemy's jumping off this way. If we get this building first, guess what? We can now hold the enemy. But instead, we're allowing the enemy to play it up, get better position than us, and here we are. We can potentially throw this game. It's still anybody's match at this point, but I still would love to see us get in a position to put pressure on Nikona. Um, and again, you see it time in and time out, guys. I'm going to go ahead and give tip number nine right now. Make the enemy's job harder. Now, it seems like it's simple advice, but I think a lot of people when they play this game, they just run around and shoot. And they don't really think, they don't really use their minds. And I get that. When I first started playing BRs seven years ago, I did the same shit. I was like, this is multiplayer. I just run around and get kills. It's not the, that's not the case at all. You got to start planning with the circle. You had them cracked. The enemy jumped off. The enemy's out of zone. We were close to zone. We were closer to that building. If we would have got that rooftop before him, the, we would have won the game. The tide would have flipped. There's no reason to play at a disadvantage. Work smarter, not harder, guys. Prepare for the best situation for you to take out the enemy. Make his life a living hell. But guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like on it, subscribe today. But until next time, man, y'all have a good one and good luck in Warzone.